hello hello so uh, I wanted to come on here today and talk about something that is pretty close to my heart something that I've been through and um, and that is basically going from like <laughs> resenting motherhood a little bit into like thriving motherhood and feeling happy and joyful again when okay so I'm in some I'm actually in a lot of like <laughs> mom Facebook groups and something that I see it doesn't matter what group I'm actually in or the age of the person or like any of that stuff it doesn't seem to matter but there's always somebody who says something like I'm feeling like it's hard to admit this but I'm feeling really resentful towards motherhood right now I feel like all I do is wake up feed the kids have them yell at me white poopy butts go to bed and wake up and do it over and over and over and feeling like I don't even know who I am anymore and the comments are just it's like overwhelming <laughs> resounding uh, number of moms who feel the same way they comment and they say like yes me too you're not alone you don't you know you're not alone in those feelings I feel the same way and they just feel so lost in this like is this what parenting is supposed to be or are we just supposed to suffer through this um, and the reason I feel really passionate about this is that like no motherhood doesn't have to be like that my kids are four and two and yeah I totally get that some days it feels really overwhelming <laughs> and, and like you are just on your knees in like why are they yelling at me why can't I seem to do this right and I never want my kids to feel that like they're the reason that I had to sacrifice things that I wanted to do um Daniel and I used to do a lot of camping and hiking and before kids that was a lot easier and we don't we don't like give up those things just because we've had kids we really make an effort to still do those things but it's not the same and I know that like those types of activities will be something that we can do again a little bit later in life but I don't want my kids to ever think that like they're the reason that I had to sacrifice things like yeah we sacrifice a lot as parents but um there's a way to still find the joy in parenting young kids without feeling like resentful towards um, motherhood and parenting. So I I thought about it like all day today and basically um, I, I like I asked God like okay like what what is it about um, the last few years that has changed from me sitting on the couch crying because I didn't know who I was anymore to like now I love every second of the frustration of parenting and it kind of came down to these two things it's not like a magical overnight solution it's but it can be I think broken down to these two things so the first one is kind of obvious not maybe not obvious but because <laughs> so many people struggle with this um, but self-care and the second one is service so self-care is like getting your hormones checked out. We, as women especially, have so many different things that affect our hormones more than you would ever believe. Um, not only from like getting your time of the month all the time, uh, and then, or maybe not, like everybody's a bit different. Um, from the products that you use that affect your endoc endocrine system to the stress that we endure, as moms especially affect our our hormones and our stress levels so all those things can just cause absolute havoc plus when you're like pregnant and breastfeeding and everything's going crazy right so making sure that your hormones are happy and healthy and doing the work in and not just being like oh it's normal to feel this exhausted all the time like do the work to figure out what your body needs in order to be more in balance um, and I could talk a whole lot more about that <laughs> um, and another part of that is doing like the inner work of um, whatever your soul needs like whatever your your soul needs in order to feel um, like fulfilled and you know whether that's like doing your devotionals every morning and getting up early to do that um, 
or like reading books that you love, like journaling, doing, doing the inner work and not just like putting it aside because you're too tired. So that's self-care, like making sure that you don't reach burnout. We take care of ourselves so that we can take care of other people and that's going to pour out onto your kids and your marriage as well. Uh, the second part is service and that is finding something beyond motherhood and not everybody like for some people motherhood is like it is their service for me I kind of felt like I needed something beyond it I'm a human I'm I'm a <laughs> I'm a human before I was a mom and I still need something that is like just for me like a creative outlet or some way that I serve other people um, and I yeah, so I, I need that thing that's like beyond motherhood for me to be able to feel um, like I'm still a human and to know who I am and my identity beyond um, being a mom. And it's not that I put my faith in that identity or anything. It's just that I know I have a, a calling on my life to like serve other people. So having like the self-care and the service those two steps together are a really important component for like getting out of that stuck feeling of being resentful in in motherhood in these especially these like really young years where <laughs> they can be really frustrating um so i hope that's helpful uh, i go into a lot more detail about this all this type of stuff in my facebook group it's called introverts who want to make an impact and really drilling down into all those things. So if you want to learn more about that, come join us in there. It's like a no judgment zone. <laughs> and um, I believe this is a really important thing because when you have moms who are not feeling like resentful and snippy and short tempered and not knowing why, but you bring them to being like happy again and joyful and it helps them be more creative and uh, I think that changes marriages, that changes families, and that's going to change the world. And it's one family at a time. All right, so I hope you come join us in the group, and we'll see you in there.